Buon pomeriggio Levian Istas and welcome to Levian TV. My name is Leonardo Cash, I'm your Levian TV host. So happy to be in this Friday afternoon with all of you. And we are inviting today Tara Swenen, a fashion stylist from Hollywood, who um, very excited to be here with us today and we are, we are very excited to have her with us today. And uh, Tara has been in the business of fashion stylists for Hollywood for a very long time. She kick-started her career with some of the top, top names in the world, in this, in this field. And she has also dressed up top A celebrity, participated and collaborated with TV networks, magazines, top fashion brands. I can't wait to have her here. In the meantime, I just want to make sure that you guys visit our website, leviantv.com, for a program guide. We have a whole list of programs leading towards Father's Day. We're celebrating Father's Day with a big array of gents' jewelry, rings and cufflinks and bracelets and necklaces for men for Father's Day, including where you can also register on our website, levian.com forward slash Father's Day, which we're going to be announcing today, and you can win for a shopping spree of $3,000 in Levian. So without further ado, Tara, Levian, thank you so much for being with us, Tara, and... Uh, taking the time to be with us. So, Tara, ciao. Ciao. I'm so sorry. Buon... I had a couple No, nah, it's okay. Buon pomeriggio. There. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> happy. happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with us. Of so, course. So, Tara, I have to tell you, the first time that I first of all, got introduced to you, you're so, so nice. And I can see even from the way you text to us and you talk to us. And then the first time I called you, that first second I said, I like her. She's hands on. Thank she, you. she knows. She, she knows her deal. How long have you been doing this for? Too long. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> I've been doing it for about 20 years. Um, wow. I'm blessed to be doing it for 20 years. Um, and it's been great. It's been great. I mean, you know, stuff is definitely changing at the moment. Um, hopefully for the good in many ways. But it has been a really nice, beautiful 20 years. So yeah, the long nice. Haul. <laughs> nice. So for those of you that are seeing this live, and of course, are, they're going to be able to see it on IGTV for ongoing period of time. You know, you can follow her at Tara Swenen. She has tens of thousands of followers. She, you are, you are definitely deep, deeply involved in the world of fashion in, in celebrating Hollywood, the red carpet and dressing up the celebrities. And, but yes. you have also been involved many times with Levian. Yes. I mean, you guys, God bless you, have been really an amazing help, you know, for me and all my girls on many, many red carpets. Um, I mean, Le'Veon has been one of my go-to for years uh, because you guys make such amazing pieces, you know? I mean, it's a good variety and it works for obviously both my men and my women. So um, I am truly grateful for everything that we've been able to do uh, over the years, for sure. Great. And you did not get the memo that we were supposed to do this outdoor under the sun, didn't you? My bad. I know it's beautiful here. It's actually <laughs> really sunny and hot in LA. So I'm taking a quick break doing it inside. And, How uh, is LA doing? I mean, you know, I think everyone's taking it day by day over here, you know, for a plethora of reasons. I guess as far as the COVID stuff, we've been put on a new, you know, watch list as far as cities. So... You know, I think we open up our gyms this weekend. Like, we're still slowly, nice. you know, moving the ball forward down the field. But, um, you know, it's it's quite a time to be alive right now. So yeah, We are yeah. in New York. We are entering phase two as of Monday. So mm -hmm. that already, it's like practically completely, almost I feel like we're 50% there. So, yeah, which is yeah. great. You I know, it's a lot news. of, a lot, a lot going up. on. A yeah. lot of going on, and I've been following you, and I've seen a lot of your posts. You have been involved, and uh, thank you for everything you do, the messages that you come across. And uh, I'm sure the Hollywood community, Los Angeles, everybody's very tight with each other, and, and uh, you have a lot of communication going on. with. Uh, so tell us a little bit about yourself and your background, and how did you end up in this business? What led you to become the, you know, the fashion stylist, the luxury stylist, for Hollywood celebrities and all of the different branches of your business that you have gone into? 
Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely evolved over the years. I have had a lot of fashion, you know, since I was a little girl. Um, I applied to Cornell University, which is where I majored in fashion design with a little drawing that I'd made at the age of seven, you know, of a full look runway model, the whole thing. Um, and I was told thereafter that it was actually one of the reasons that got me in, which was great. Um, but it's evolved. You know, I lived in New York City. I worked with Andrea Lieberman, who now obviously is the CEO and designer of uh, ALC. My mm -hmm. first week in the field, uh, actually, as an intern was the week that we sort of did that J-Lo plunging uh, you know, Versace dress that was the dress heard around the world. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, so are you serious? Great. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow, and, uh, that was a big. That's right a memorable time. one. <laughs> it was, yeah. And uh, and then I moved to LA, worked with Rachel Zoe, who obviously is a very well-known stylist and entrepreneur in her own rights. Um, and it's evolved. You know, I finally went on my own, and I've done everything from lines. Um, on HSN to right now I'm putting together a summit uh, for a lot of my fellow fashionistas. Um, and, you know, it's, it's constantly evolving, but it has been really great. I've been very blessed with a lot of amazing clients, um, you know, amazing team members through the years, obviously amazing agents. Um, and so it's, you know, it's been quite the journey and, you know, I think right now is a, is a pivotal time with what, I mean, in every industry for sure. Um, but, you know, I think that it's, you know, the, the beauty of this time is everyone is really having to take a step back, dive into themselves, really figure out, you know, how they want to move forward as entrepreneurs, as people, as human beings, um, you know, and realize sort of what makes sense, what is meaningful, you know, finding ways, obviously, to, you know, diversify further, to figure out where we can change, you know, everything that needs to be changed, you know, and as you very well know, you know, for me, sustainability is a really, really big thing. So, um, you know, trying to figure out how I can implement that, you know, with what I do and uh, get the word out there as much as possible has been, that's where I, I see the future for me right now. So, yeah. Can you, can you get, can you get deeper a bit, a little bit more about that whole sus sustainability and the factor of what are, what are the steps that you take? What is it that you do and how involved are you? Well, you know, for me, the biggest thing, of course, you know, which is tricky as a stylist is, you know, uh, what I do is help my clients get dressed. I help them feel their best on the red carpet, going out, but I also have to be uh, privy to their needs and their wants. And, you know, yeah. so there is a very tricky line that needs to be walked where, you know, I sort of want to basically, you know, merge the luxury sector element to the sustainable needs element and essentially teach them, you know, uh, bring them certain brands that I think are, you know, perhaps moving in the right direction. The reality is, is everything that all of us do has an impact, you know, as far as mm -hmm. the environment. So mm -hmm. the goal is really just to try and be responsible and lighten that impact. Um, you know, and I think for me, what happened was I went vegan and I realized that the fashion industry is literally one of the worst. I mean, we contribute 8% of the climate impact uh, globally right now. Uh, you know, in, by 2050, if we keep going the way we are, it's going to be 26% of our carbon budget. I mean, it's terrible. Um, and so I think what I've seen over the past, you know, 10, 15, 20 years is this evolution uh, into fast fashion and the waste that we do, um, you know, even as consumers, you know, I think it's something like yeah. 150 billion garments are used and 50% of everything we do usually gets worn three to 10 times and then ends up in the landfill and is terrible. So for me, however I can educate, whether it's my clients, you know, uh, via media, via my social platforms, it's important to me to get it out so there your approach, so that people can make decisions. So your approach is a little bit of entrepreneurial and business, but at the same time, you take your platform and all of the tools that you have in order to kind of like direct and educate the consumer out there. I'm thinking fashion and I'm thinking with the world of online growing and growing, just the thought of ordering an item and then you wear it. Okay, it doesn't fit me. I don't like it and I'm going to send it back. What happens with this item? Does it get thrown away? Does it get reused? Well, no, if, um, it, if it gets worn, the, you know, I the, think it was something ridiculous, like 9% of people buy outfits 
for a picture on Instagram and then return it, which is like, I can't even at this point, but I get it because I also, you know, I, I didn't know the that problem in a way where, you know, for red carpets, like, uh, you know, luckily these samples are worn and reworn and used in editorials and used, you know, and, for, and a lot of them in the end get donated either to archives or various charities, you know, to help. Um, you know, but we're pushing consumerism with what I do. So yes, for me, the main goal is education um, and using, you know, that to sort of just really, you know, try and understand, you know, even as far as jewelry, you know, I think for me, it's important for people to not to discount costume jewelry at all. But you know, I think it's important that people go to brands like Le'Veon where they make a conscious choice to choose one piece that they love you know, and then use that as their main piece, you know, as opposed to buying 10 pieces of costume jewelry, wearing them once or twice, and then chucking them, you know, I think if people can shop using that knowledge, it really yeah. helps, you know. You know, we have cycle. collectors that even they're watching and Levianistas that constantly follow us, that truly they own multiple of tens, some of them even hundreds of pieces of Levian that they keep and they maybe passed down to generation and yeah. generation, you know? Yeah. And there is that aspect of sustainability, but at the same time, Levian is also very big advocate and we are part of every responsible council, every ethical council yes. from all different aspects, from uh, origin of gems and origin of diamonds. Every, every item gets scrutinized and reported. So from every, like we are so by the books that yeah. One of the reasons why we have done Levy and TV is because we yeah. want to sort of like educate the same way you are doing, you know, yeah. what, what we are about and what is it that we do. And sustainability has become an important factor also for Levy. And throughout this period where we have interviewed, you know, stylists and fashion and designers just like you mm -hmm. that are big, big advocate about this. And I'm learning myself and I'm become, becoming more conscious about it, even at home, even at yeah. the workplace, yeah. you know, just... And like you said, we bit. all need to do make a little bit of a change. If we all do through this period of time, whatever that change is, just yeah. one change. If all of us do change, it can, can yeah. turn into something huge. Absolutely. So how hard is the, the world of Hollywood? I mean, how tough is the world of celebrities and hard? Be honest. They're not it's watching. Tough. Just be honest. It's tough. You definitely need to have a thick skin. I mean, the amount of curveballs that have been thrown at me, you know, in 20 years, I, I laugh, whether it's with my team or my friends. Every week there's something. I mean, literally it's, you know, whether it's attitude, whether it's, you know, just, you know, uh, hiccups in scheduling, this, that, there's always something. And then you add fashion to it too, which is a whole nother ball game. You know, you combine the two and it's like, um, but that being said, it's also very fun. Um, I love it. You know, I do mostly red carpet. So I do do celebrities the most. Um, I do do commercials and productions and all that kind of stuff. And I've done costume design and I love it. Um, but nice. there is something to me there. It, it's something about the speed and, you know, I enjoy, obviously I now at the ripe age of 40 have walked through many, uh, minefields and I really, I have the beautiful ability now to sort of pick and choose. And so for me, I want nothing but good energy around me. I want to come home and be with my daughter, you know, as soon as possible and shut down mentally. Uh, so I, it's a luxury that I'm able to sort of choose amazing people to work with. I choose amazing brands to work with. Um, you know, I'm in the Chanel family and they're amazing. Um, and it's just, you know, it's good, but it has been a long haul for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it definitely has its ups and downs. But, you know, like I was saying, this, this summit that I'm creating right now, um, you know, I, I really wanted to do something meaningful during this time, create a vehicle and a platform to people to get together, discuss pertinent, you know, issues and topics and really move the needle, especially in our industry in many ways, whether that be diversity, whether that be sustainability, you name it. Uh -huh. We're going to talk about all these things. But it was a brilliant thing for me during this time where all of us were sort of lonely and at a standstill. And, you know, it's a very... Um, it's a vibrant job what we do. We're dealing with hundreds of people on a daily basis. And to all of a sudden just sort of not be in contact with anyone uh, was quite a shock for all of us. So it's been really nice sort of getting to talk to everybody, get them together on panels um, and have everyone really discuss. Cause now, you know, I think the beauty of what will come out of this time is that everyone's gonna demand transparency and everyone's gonna demand change. And so we yeah. all now as leaders 
have to figure out what that is and how to do it. So um, it's nice to hear people talk about it authentically, um, you know, while educating people also on things that they might know. How does it, how is this summit? Uh, so tell us about the summit a little bit further. What is it called and, and uh, uh, it's, how, it's, what does it imply and what does it mean? <laughs> It is called the Digital Summer Bazaar. Um, it is, uh, it was created with um, essentially a virtual styling platform called Glam Hive that I'm a part of uh, with hundreds of stylists across the world, actually. Um, and so it's going to be on July 11th. It's a virtual, mm -hmm. um, you know, summit. So all you have to do is buy tickets prior, you get a little code and then you join in day of. Everything will be live, so you have the option nice. of chatting with everyone. It should be around, I mean, last time, we did it a couple of weeks ago, and it was 70 speakers from designers around the world to stylists. You're going to probably speakers. triple that this time because of the whole situation so. with the digital. So. Is it a one-day event? Also, uh, we're expanding glam, so we're going to have, you know, beauty, you know, everything nice. from bloggers to entrepreneurs and all that. So we wanted to, you know, include. Is it only a one day event or multiple days? It's one day live, but it's accessible for a full year. So yeah, even if you miss it, you can't make it. Um, you can always buy tickets. And, you know, if you need to ask questions, Very you can nice. always DM, you know, everybody or what have you. Yeah. So if you just yeah. joined in right now, and if you're looking at this show right now, it's live. We're going to leave it available on Facebook, on IGTV, on all of our platform for you to see. You're watching Levian TV with Tara Swenen, fashion stylist from Hollywood, big entrepreneur and definitely big advocate of sustainability. We're so happy to have you here. Can you tell us a couple of fun stories when you had to dress uh, some of these a celebrities with jewelry. And by the way, what makes them choose one item versus the other? I mean, what is the, what is the main reasoning that they go for some, is it well, the know, price? It's, it's is it the big stone? Ask. Is it? <laughs> it depends, you know, I mean, obviously there's the little things like jewelry, like metal sensitivities and things like that. You obviously want to create a full look. So usually jewelry tends to be the final piece of the puzzle, um, you know, and you'll choose whether it's a ruby, an emerald, you know, an amethyst, it, it'll be however you see it with the full look. Um, you know, obviously I have clients like Alice and Janney who love really big statement pieces. And I have clients like Lauren Conrad who wear tiny, tiny little guys. So uh -huh. it, obviously you want to cater to their personality and their wants. Um, you know, I think it's, to be honest, I always laugh during award season. For me, the dress is the easiest part. It's the accessorizing that's the hardest part. Usually wow. because there's so many amazing choices, um, you know, but for me, you know, I, I love the legacy of brands who have been supportive of me like Le'Veon from the get go. So I really do like to sort of pair people with, um, you know, people that have been supportive, obviously, of them and my careers for years. Um, a funny story, I mean, God, it was years ago. One of my freakiest moments is, of course, people sort of forget that, you know, while this stuff is on these people, you know, you hope that it's insured. You hope that oh they're going to take good care of it. Sometimes we have guards with us. You know, it's a whole situation. So I was working years ago uh, with Rachel Zoe at the time, and we were dressing Lindsay Lohan. And she performed uh, at New Year's Eve in Times Square. I'm already someone who doesn't love large crowds. Uh, I believe she was wearing Harry Winston. I can't even remember what it was back in the day, but uh, it necessitated four guards to come with us. I had to be up on the stage with her, which was like, for me, a nightmare. You know, she was dancing, she was performing. And so her hands were everywhere. And she literally had dripping in jewels everywhere. I was just ready for one of them to fling off into the crowd. I was gonna have to, you know, nosedive and find this thing, but... Um, <clears throat> It was the longest, maybe six minutes of my life, <laughs> but oh my um, God. also really fun. Huh? <laughs> I'm saying, oh my yeah, God, I crazy. can just imagine uh, the, luckily, the, nothing the process. <laughs> that is great. Was, Thank you for sharing lot. that. Uh, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what yeah, is the future of Hollywood? What is the future of Hollywood right now? What it's like as far as award, red carpet, what it's going on? Because, you know, we have had our fashion show, which we call the Red Carpet Review. And I don't know if you've ever been to one in Las Vegas, if you've ever come to one of those. It's usually happening during the JCK show, which is the yep. biggest yep. jewelry trade show in yes. the world. And yes. um, we've had it for 15 years. This is the first time that we actually 
had to cancel for obvious reasons. Yeah. And uh, we still yet don't know if we are going to be able to do it digitally. Of course, it's postponed the real one all the way right. through next year in June. Right. But what are, what are they saying right now in your world? I mean, what are you working on in terms of fashion, jewelry, accessorizing these celebrities? Are anything in the horizon happening already? Do you're, you're, are you being already booked up and things like that? It's tough. I think everyone is slowly getting back there. They're wow. saying that the Venice Film Festival and the Toronto Film Festival are the two that are still happening right now. Uh, but everything from Comic-Con to any sort of, you know, July appearances have been postponed. Um, you know, I think right now the main thing is, you know, there are some movies that are, as of right now, slated to still release in July. So we're doing Zoom conferences. So essentially, uh, you know, as far as stylists, you know, I think people have the opportunity to sort of dress their clients from their closets. Uh, some of the showrooms have reopened. Uh, you know, if I, for instance, were to call you and say, I need a ring, I'm sure you would ship it to me and we would make it happen. Uh, but it's few and far between right now. So we're still, we are nowhere near truly getting back, you know, into the production level where it used to be. People are, are giving mm -hmm. it a shot um, and obviously doing so with, you know, very tight restrictions and all that. I have yet to be called. I think I was offered one photo shoot and it just didn't, it didn't make sense yet to put myself out there for it. Um, and also because I'm spearheading this summit, you know, I'm quite busy, but um, you know, the moment one of my clients needs any help, you know, I will be ready to jump on. Um, but yeah, I think it's- But you have your regular, happens. you have your regular solid clients that you rely on, that they definitely, the moment they call you, you're on. The one that- Yes. Some of these but top what's brands. What's happening more now is that people are utilizing us as brands in and of ourselves to push their things out, you know, obviously. Nice. We do stuff like this because we love, you know, supporting the brands that have been with us. And I think that now companies are looking to us to sort of help, you know, push the new stuff for fall, anything for late summer, you know, however they can't market it, you know, to get people to go into the stores. If we can help push it virtually, you know, um, I think that's, you know, that's how we've pivoted, essentially. Interesting. Very interesting. So, well, first of all, thank you so much. I did, it, I did not know Pleasure. that you were with Levin for so many years and you did collaboration and works and dressing the celebrity. Just letting you know, actually, we're going to kickstart the whole collection for men. So if there are celebrities Amazing. that want some men's jewelry from Levian, give us Great. a shot. We have a gorgeous, gorgeous Such collection. And I know you have dressed uh, also men, not only women. And I've seen from your, uh, from your list of uh, a list of uh, celebrities. That's impressive. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you so much and uh, give you another two, three minutes if you want to wrap it up and give us, we always, I always ask my guests to give us a good message of positive message before we say goodbye to the audience. Oh, I mean, if, if I could use this moment to, you know, take my two seconds of education, I would say, yes. you know, my message would be to really just try and, and and do four things and that is as far as you know what you do for fashion let's say and by the way implement it everywhere of course you know try and celebrate now the use of rewearing things the beauty of the art form of whether it's fashion or you know what have you um you know i would encourage you to make smart purchasing decisions i would encourage you to get out there as much as you can once you've educated yourself and teach people around you whether that's your friends and your family um and obviously yeah use your relationships to spread the good whether that's sustainability whether that's inclusion whether that's education on so many other levels right now i think this is the time to really um you know to to make a difference make a change i think what what was working was not really working so we all sort of need to you know we need to change a lot of things so i yeah. hope that we can inspire each other to do so and uh yeah i would say have a great weekend i mean it's friday right <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do do it safely please and uh keep other people in mind and that's it thank you so much yeah. thank you for thank your you for thank me. you for your positive oh. energy and your great great attitude keep it up thank wishing you. you a lot of success you too. i wish that you're gonna be i wish that you're gonna be so busy that you're gonna steal 
still, if I call you in months from now and say, hey, would you want to come in back and do another 20 minutes, half an hour? He says, you know what, Leonardo? Yes, I can squeeze another <laughs> 30 minutes. But I'm busy and I don't know where I'm doing it from. Even though, maybe Toronto, maybe New That's York, fine. or maybe we'll you come to one of our studios, we'll make it happen. But thank you so much. <laughs> Send okay. regards to your lovely daughter, to your family, to everybody, yeah, and Los Angeles, uh, all the best, and have a great weekend. Me too. And Everyone everybody, at same. Tara Swenen, at Tara Swenen, visit her Instagram page, Go, amazing post, follow her, and you can learn a lot from her. Thank you, Tara. Very nice doing this with you. Thank you so much. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye, guys. Anche te. Ciao. Ciao. Fantastico. Grazie, Tara. You have been phenomenal. We love you. Isn't she amazing? I told you. And you know what? She's being humble. I can see it. You know, she kept it only like very like that. She can give you names of people that she worked with. I'm telling you, I was blown away just by reading. You can see some of the main, maybe in our post that we did, but I know I've checked it out and uh, pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. I have to tell you. So we are so excited that we are part of sort of like the same team her message across was impeccable and uh, we thank you guys for tuning in for this special presentation and we see you over the weekend levyantv.com check it out for our program guide my name is leonardo Cashi. i'm your levian tv host grazie e arrivederci a presto ciao a tutti buon weekend